Okay, so this is just a, a quick guide on how to <clears throat> get the files from the DJI camera app transferred over to your computer. Uh, this is for Android. Uh, I don't own an iPhone, so uh, it may be different on that. But uh, first of all, how to access um, the camera mode so that you can get into the settings and everything without being connected to the Osmo. You don't need to have it all in the rig and everything and connected up by Bluetooth. Uh, once you go into the app, uh, you can from here you click to connect to your mobile device uh, but from here you've got the camera option there press that and you can get into all your settings everything you want to do there um, in the settings this is where you would change where you store the um, the files to uh, storage location and then that that to be honest with you is in itself complicated <laughs> turns upside down uh it gives you a little tutorial there but to be honest with you it doesn't show up the same as what comes up on your phone uh now it automatically takes you into the DSIM directory which it doesn't use and if you try to set it to that it'll just give you an error and tell you to follow the tutorial again uh, so to do it you select the SD card there and you just do it in that do not select any more directories it will not let you it'll just say it's an error uh, so you just click select at that point and that will store it to your memory card rather than to the phone or vice versa if you want to switch it the other way around now while you're in the camera mode you can select the little play button at the bottom of the screen there and that will take you into your library and show you all the files that you've got from the app it's the only place you can access them on your phone uh, again as I say unless it's rooted and uh, are you using some file explorer software uh, and that's the uh, the list of files then and then you've got the option then to copy them um, if you select one you can use the share option and that will save it into a different part of the phone that is accessible but very long-winded way around that and uh, takes a lot of time to do so come out the DJI app completely if you've got a file explorer th this is the one this costs me money uh, you can get the non-pro version with advertisements all over it but it's also got a lot of restricted features so it depends on your file explorer you've got on there uh, but if you're able to get into the root directory of your phone as you can see there uh, you can then access the files through 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 here and copy them to wherever you want I'm on the memory card though okay so to get access to the part of the memory card that it's in it's this uh, C23B9988 directory once you go in there you'll see the DJI folder into camera and that's where all your videos are stored um, and, and your photographs uh, if you took a panoramic one that was stored in that directory there and long exposure would be in that one uh, so you can do things with the files in there obviously um, edit them and do whatever you want to do uh, now 
the easiest way to get these over to your computer if, if they're both on the same network I've got wireless on the phone and then obviously the computer's plugged into uh, the internet and the same network as well um, now that all goes through your router your mobile broadband router uh, so you could in fact select one of the files so you, you can then copy the file and then select a network location from the phone here and there's my PC so I can then go into that go into the uh, the videos directory and paste it there and it'll do it over your network uh, it can be a bit slow though depends on the speed of your network and and just transferring that way isn't the fastest either uh, the the route I'd recommend, especially if you've got a few files, if you've just got one file, that's great. You can copy it over very easily with that. If you've got a few files though, just take your memory card out and plug it in your computer if you've got a slot, uh, and you can access all the directories on your memory card. Then you're not restricted. Uh, so let's go over to the computer and, and see that in action. So when you connect your phone to the computer. It launches whatever software you have for your phone. In my case, it's the Sony Xperia. Now, if you go into the folder, Browse Xperia, and into the memory card, you're above the directory that the files are stored in. You can, in the software, the DJI software on the camera, you can actually... Um, tell it to transfer it to a, a location you can get it from which comes into this directory here and have I transferred? No I've not even bothered with that um, but again it's one at a time if you're just doing one file then you know maybe that's not so bad option for you but the best thing to do is to turn your phone off or you can just eject the memory card um, but I find that it messes up your apps and everything so it's better to just have it turned off while you do it and um, once the phone's off get your memory card out And put that into your computer if you've got a slot that is um, I know not every computer does but most do now and if you haven't got one you can get an external memory card reader that plugs into the USB port it's quite slow that unless you can get USB 3 uh, now as you can see uh, once it comes up it's in the root directory and there's your DJI directory there into camera and there's all your images and you can cut and paste them over very very simply uh, don't forget your uh, your panoramic shots and everything and uh, long exposure shots in different directories but it's all there easily accessible and a lot faster